Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking you through my diffusing routine. Now I have briefly covered how I diffuse my hair on my wash day routine video and my bounce curl routine video, but I have had some requests to do a specific diffusing routine video, so here we are, I'm answering your questions. So there's a few things that I'm gonna cover in today's video. I'm gonna talk about the reasons why I diffuse, the diffuser I use, the hair dryer I use, and then I'm gonna show you how I actually diffuse my hair and the process. So I diffuse my hair every single time that I wash it, and this is for a few different reasons. The first reason is time. My hair has now got very long. When stretched out, it reaches halfway down my butt. Let me show you. Cause you can't see it all in the camera. So look, it really is. It's pretty long now. And that means that it takes a long time to dry. It takes about 30 minutes to diffuse my hair compared to about five hours to air dry. So which one would you choose? I absolutely hate walking around with wet hair. My hair is just, because it's long, it's even longer when it's wet, so it just it's just all over me and it's gross and wet and I just prefer to dry it and get it over with. If I had shoulder length hair, like up to here, perhaps I would air dry more often, but I just don't want to walk around with wet hair for five hours plus, so I diffuse my hair. So the second reason that I diffuse is for volume, because again, my hair is long, I struggle to get volume at the root. You can see that I'm struggling today to get volume at the root, but if I had air dried my hair, it would be even less voluminous. This is because when my hair is wet, it is heavy, so it weighs my hair down and pulls down at the roots, so it just gets a bit flat. So again, I diffuse, and I think it's really about the technique that I use as well. I really get the diffuser up in there and push up at the root, and I diffuse my hair all over, so to the left, to the right, forward, backwards, you name it. It's just so I can get volume at the root. The third reason that I diffuse is for definition. I really find that diffusing my hair helps give me better definition. Again, it's the same reason for the volume. When my hair is wet, it's heavy, so the curls pull out and it can make my curls stretch out and lose definition. So by physically pushing my hair up, it encourages curl definition. Just like scrunching your hair when you apply products helps form curl definition, so does diffusing for me. Next up, I want to talk about my hair dryer and diffuser. So I use a very old Vidal Sassoon hair dryer. I don't know if they still sell them. I'll have a look and put a link in the description if they do. It's, it's, it's been all right. I mean, I've had it for about five or six years and it hasn't broken yet, so that's a good sign for me. When you're looking for a hair dryer, what I would suggest is that it's got a range of heat settings and a range of speed settings. So I diffuse my hair on a low speed and a medium heat. My hair dryer has three heat settings, a medium, a high, and a cool shot, and it has two speed settings, low and high, and I diffuse on the low one. If I find that my scalp is getting too hot during the diffusing process, I'll usually press the cool shot, that just blasts cool air at it, but I normally find that the medium one is okay for me. Now on to my diffuser. So I use the Xtava Black Orchid diffuser. It's absolutely massive compared to my head, and I'll show you what it looks like compared to the diffuser that actually came with this hair dryer as well. So this is the one that came with the hair dryer, and as you can see, they're pretty different in size. I mean, yeah. So what I like about the Xtava Black Orchid is that it has a big bowl so I can fit all my hair in it as I've got long hair, but also that the prongs come out really fast so I can really get up at the root and give myself an, a little bit of lift so I can really lift the hair up. Something with this one is that it doesn't have a bowl. It does have the prongs so you can get some root lift. I would definitely recommend getting one with prongs and one with the bowl as well. Some diffusers you'll find have a really deep bowl with prongs, but the prongs don't come out of the bowl, if that makes sense. So your hair's in there, but you can't really get any lift. So that's why I really like this one. I got this shipped to the UK from the US Amazon. I'm not sure if the one that I bought can be shipped to the UK anymore, but I'll put a link to the one that I bought in the description bar just in case it changes or anything. I didn't have to pay customs fees at the time, but who knows what it's like now. So as I mentioned in my curly hair tools and accessories video, 
The only thing about this diffuser is that it is not universal, so it doesn't actually fit on my hair dryer. And for ages, I had it taped on with duct tape. It was getting all tacky and sticky, and I was getting tacky bits in my hair, and I thought I had chewing gum in my hair, but I didn't. It was just... Anyway, then I've very kindly got sent this Snozzle Pro, which is just an attachment that fits onto your hair dryer and onto the Xava, and yeah it connects them together and it stays on securely so that is my diffusing apparatus if you want to know a little bit more about the snozzle pro or my diffuser then i'll put a link to my curly hair tools and accessories video so now that I've talked you through why I diffuse and the equipment that I use to diffuse with, I'm going to talk you through my entire diffusing process. I'm not going to talk about my styling routine at all in this video, I will put a link to my wash day routine up here. So after applying my styling products and removing some excess water with a curl towel, that is when the diffusing process starts. So the first thing that I do is lay out a curl towel on the floor, I will usually use the one that I have just removed some excess water with. I tip my head forward when I diffuse my hair and I kind of lean my arm on the floor so it's much less of a strain on the arms I find. I actually learned this tip from Spicia so she kneels on the floor and puts her head forward and diffuses her hair like that and I kind of do it in that way but I kind of do it a little bit differently. So after laying out the curl towel I will put my hair all to one side very gently and I will diffuse my hair section by section turning the hair dryer off in between sections. So with the hair dryer turned off I will take one section of my hair bring the section up to my scalp, turn the hair dryer on, leave it for around 30 seconds, turn the hair dryer off, and then bring the hair dryer back down, and I'll do the same with each section on that side, then I'll flip my head to the other side, do the same, flip my head forward, and do the same. And I repeat this sequence until my hair is about 60 to 70% dry. So the next thing that I do is flip my head up and I'll kind of shake my hair so it falls into a rough parting. I try not to touch my hair too much because this can cause excess frizz. So before I go ahead and diffuse my hair upright, I will sometimes add a little bit more product and water. This is to smooth down any frizz and re-scrunch up these sections just to really encourage curl definition. And I will do the same method, diffusing my hair all around my head. I really find that flipping my hair back up helps give me definition on the top layers of my hair where I really struggle. This side is not so bad because it's flipped over but this side you can see I really struggle to get curl definition. A lot of people have curlier hair at the ends than they do at the roots and I just have that hair type. I wish that I had curly hair at the top but there is very little I can do about my hair type. So with each section that I diffuse I'm making sure to really lift up this section at the roots and that really helps to give me extra volume and turning it off and on between sections really helps to minimise frizz. So after I've been diffusing for a while, it's probably been about 20-25 minutes at this point, my hair is almost dry and it's starting to form a cast and being a little bit rougher with it won't cause any extra frizz and if it does then it will just make my hair more voluminous. So at this point I like to go in with the diffuser and kind of shake it at my roots. I really find that this helps to loosen up my clumps and give me a little bit of extra lift and volume, kind of zhuzhes up my hair and it also helps to break any cast that you have from the gel. So once my hair is dry, and I mean fully dry, I will flip my head forward, give it a shake at the roots, flip my head to the side, scrunch it up, give it a good scrunch, and I'll flip it to the other side, do the same. Then I'll flip my head back up and reveal my finished results. If when you flip your head back up you find that your parting's a little bit weird, now is the time to sort it out because it's all dry so it would be okay. If there are any fluffy bits or bits that you think could be a little bit more defined, you can always take a little bit of water in your hands and smooth it over and just kind of finger coil it to make it come back to life. I've been diffusing my hair this way for a while now and I really find it gives me the perfect balance of volume and definition with minimal frizz. Some people prefer to start diffusing at their roots, so they'll diffuse their entire roots first just by holding the hair dryer out around their scalp area and then they go in and diffuse the ends but for me because my hair is long and heavy it just pulls the roots down when it's wet so it's just much easier for me to start at the ends of my hair and just bring it up to my head 
I have found through trial and error. So there we go, we have reached the end of the video. I really hope you found it helpful and it answered all of your diffusing questions. If you do have any more questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer it as best as I can. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give it a like, leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you soon. Bye guys.